Hey guys, today I'm going to do a little tutorial on how to backlight your DMG-01. Make Turn it from this into this. Alright, so first step, you're going to need our, all of the required pieces and that is obviously the V5 backlight I got from Non-Finite Electronics. You're going to need a soldering iron, solder, small Phillips head screwdriver, a tri-wing screwdriver, which you can order online. Um, I think Non-Finite sells them. I just got mine on Amazon. A razor blade, and then some things that aren't required but are helpful are Q-tips, some isopropyl rubbing alcohol, flux for soldering, and air duster, maybe some electrical tape, I probably won't use any for this. Okay, first step, we need to open our Game Boy. There are six tri-wing screws, four here, and two in the battery base. So unscrew those, and open it up. Once you have all the tri-wing screws out of the bottom, the two pieces should come apart. Be careful now not to damage the ribbon cable. Just slide your hand in there, and with some light pressure, pull downwards to disconnect the two sections. Alright, we can put the bottom half of the Game Boy aside for now safely with our screws. We're just going to be working with the top half of the Game Boy. First thing we're going to need to do is remove the ten screws that are in this PCB connecting it to the top part. Once we have the 10 screws removed from this PCB, we can remove it from the top plastic by gently lifting up here and gently lifting from the ribbon cable until that whole piece slides out. We can put the plastics and the buttons away for now also. Once you have the top PCB removed, we take these two Phillips head screws off, but be very careful, they strip very easily. Once you have these two screws removed, we're going to take our razor blade and we're going to pull up the screen. Slide the razor blade into this top little notch and lightly pull up the screen until it pops up. There we go. And we're going to remove two foam pieces behind the screen. Now the next part is the most tricky part, but with patience it's not that hard. We're going to lift up our screen and with our razor blade, we are going to cut the polarized film from the back. So slide in your razor blade and peel back the back two layers of the screen. Once we have it started, we can grab and peel it back by hand. As you can see here, I'm peeling back a layer, but we can still see green on the screen. That means you're not going deep enough. There we go. Now 
Now slowly peel this all the way off. Once you have the whole polarized film peeled, we can throw that in the trash. And I take a paper towel and wipe off the whole inside of the screen in case we left any smudges. Also, I use a little bit of air duster to make sure there's no dust that's getting left behind here. Next, we'll take our backlight and peel the plastic off of the front. Be careful not to peel off the actual polarized film. We then are going to slide this with the contacts at the bottom left right into the screen. It should fit pretty nicely behind. Just like that. Make sure the wires then are coming out the bottom in between the two screws and we can put the two screws back in place. Once you have the two screws back on, we're going to do some soldering. We're going to prepare our spots, put a little bit of rubbing alcohol if you have it on these two contact points, P positive right here and negative right here. I've already done that, so we're going to solder it up. Red one for positive. Once we have the two soldered points connected, again, positive to this right here, negative to this right here, I like to tuck the wires through this resistor hole. just to get them out of the way. Like that. And now we can just go back to assembling. Take our PCV, put the speaker in first, and next our PCB will slide in there. And we can again just put the 10 screws on one thing when putting the screws back on the PCB, do not over tighten any of them. Once you have it screwed on, I like to take a little bit of rubbing alcohol, put it on a Q-tip and clean this ribbon cable because it could have gotten dust on it and that will mess up our LCD display. Just take a little bit of alcohol, rub down the ribbon and wipe it with a clean paper towel. I like to air duster also into this gap on the bottom of the PCB. Make sure there's no dust that's collected in there. And finally, carefully make sure our wires are out of the way. We're going to connect our ribbon cable back to the bottom PCB. Be very careful while doing this. This is a delicate part. And once it's connected, we can just shut the Game Boy and put back in our other five or six um, tri-wing screws on the bottom. Once all the tri-wing screws are in, you're done. We can turn it on for a test. There you go, red backlit Game Boy.